up? Eric coming to you guys again with another video. This is gonna be a very special one for me. I reached 20,000 subscribers. I started at the beginning of this year with a mere 200, around 200, 250 subscribers on my channel. And with a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, I managed to get to this point. This video is just gonna be straight to the point, very short. Last night, I reached a huge milestone, a huge achievement for me. I reached 10,000 subscribers. What's going on everybody? Eric coming to you guys again with another video. I just want to let everybody know that I'm filming a Q&A for 15,000 subscribers. Yes, 15,000 subscribers. This has been a huge goal of mine for a long time. So getting to this point really means a lot to me. I can't thank all of you enough, all my subscribers for the support, and of course, the encouragement. That being said, let's get to the questions. Alrighty guys, and the first one's gonna be coming from the YouTube video that I put up on my channel, so let's get to it. This one's coming from BH Kid, and he asks, can you please do a full day of eating tracked of your regular days? My response to that is I do not track my calorie or my macronutrient intake, so I don't really have an answer for you. Alrighty, and the next one's gonna be coming from Journey to Jack, shout out to you, awesome channel, man. Uh, Long-term fitness goals, question mark, professional cycling, powerlifting, bodybuilding, competitive eating, or the sick hybrid you are now. I choose not to specialize in anything in particular. I like to have a balance of everything in my life. All my passions, there's no reason why you have to be good at only one thing or only specialize in one thing. That being said, I do go through periods of my life where I choose to focus on some of those things more than others. Goal-wise, I don't really have any specific goals other than short-term ones. Obviously, I'd like to be a competitive cyclist more. Unfortunately, my work schedule, my school schedule doesn't necessarily allow for that right now. Powerlifting, I am gonna be doing a powerlifting meet in the future. And competitive eating wise, I just wanna be the best I can be. YouTube goals also wanna be the best I can be as well. So there's nothing wrong with having a goal like that. And the next one's gonna be coming for Trevor Hensley. Trevor asks, Eric, you said before that once you have an eating disorder, it's something you never fully get over. Before more, be more specific, what are some things that you still struggle with or symptoms that occur? The answer to that one is pretty straightforward as well. Um, there are days, especially um, me being a recovering anorexic, that I do feel that my body's not good enough or I'm not uh, fit enough or I'm not, I don't have enough muscle mass on me or I'm too thin. Mainly right now, it all comes down to how I see myself. I don't necessarily feel like leading a restrictive diet like I did in the past is the best way to go about things, so I'm able to combat those voices. Mainly now it boils down to how I see myself on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the next question is going to come from F1 Pro Style, and he asks, 50,000 cows in 48 hours special? Question mark. Never again. All right, the next one is going to come from Mateo Gaelic. Gaelic, I don't know if I said that right. Do you ride bike every day for three or more hours because you like riding or because you love eating? Holly shit amount of food, <laughs> both. All right, and the next question is gonna be com coming from Jordan Fletcher. Um, he asks, or she asks, do you consider your current eating and exercise regimes disordered, even though that's not necessarily a detrimental or bad thing? Um, that's a really good question, actually. I first wanna say that the word disorder can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. Um, I think that most would see my eating regime, if you wanna call it that, or the way I eat, um, eating about 30,000 calories in a day or um, doing food challenges is being disordered and some people may see them as something that's fun or something that's uh, different, weird, strange. It doesn't really matter to me. The way I see it, I have a talent for eating large amounts of food and food is something that I enjoy. It's something that I uh, have a different relationship with now than I did in the past. So I'm able to keep a healthy balance when I'm not doing challenges. And at the same time, I'm also able to keep a healthy balance with the amount of exercise that I do. Um, exercise is something that should be made to enhance your life, not take away from it. So, all right, the next question is coming from Nicolay Lauer. She asks, uh, do you expect to get 100,000 subscribers in 2016? That would be awesome, but to be completely honest, I don't. Ali Wu asks, how many calories do you burn during your workout sessions plus biking every day, question mark? I have no idea. Matthew Leake asks, will you ever bulk up? And if you do, how much bigger will you would you like to be? Love your videos, bro, keep up the good work. Great question, Matthew. I actually have bulked up in the past, and that's where I got to be about right here. I was deadlifting about 455 pounds. Bench was at 235, I believe, and my uh, squat was around 375. I got to be around, I think it was 215, 220 pounds at the peak of my bulk. That being said, I'm currently in a phase where I'm just, I favor cycling more. I do have plans as the new year goes on. I'll be on a solid strength training phase 
where I'm gonna actually be spending less time on the bike and more time training in the gym for my lifts. And Drew Hicks asks, how many calories are burned while using the stationary bike? All of them. This one's coming from Carolina Moniz. She asks, hey Eric, love your channel. I've noticed that your weight has been decreasing lately, especially after you began the vegan month. Aren't you a bit worried about that? Great question, Carolina. Uh, this is great that you brought that up. I did lose a little bit of weight too with the vegan, with going vegan, mainly because I did have a lot of calories coming from a lot of dairy and a lot of other sources that do have animal products in them. Uh, that being said, I think I'm at a point right now where I perform my best. We go through different phases of our lives where um, our body loses weight, gains weight. It's gonna happen sporadically throughout our lives. That being said, it's very, very important to be at a weight that you feel the best at, that you can perform the best at. And if you're not doing those things, you're obviously not at the right weight. If I was going day to day and I felt like crap, I'd obviously need to make changes. Granted, if my goals do shift to anything larger than right now, which is a slow strength gaining phase, then it would be a little bit different. And the next question comes from Michael Gagnon. Uh, he asks, will you ever collab with Jason Genova? That would be piss. Next question comes from my boy, world-class douchebag. Shout out to you, buddy. He is one of the ultimate subscribers. He even adds my profile picture as, <laughs> as his YouTube avatar. My response to that is over 9,000. All right, the next question is gonna come from Zachary the Bear. He asks, top five metalcore, Horror, post-hardcore, deathcore band. In those genres, I would say that Parkway Drive is definitely uh, number one. Two would probably be Old Bring Me the Horizon. Three would be Black Dahlia Murder. Four would have to be Whitechapel. And five would have to be Winds of Plague. Alrighty, the next question is gonna come from Anthony Liu. He asks, ever consider being a runner? No hate to all my runners out there, but no thanks. Alrighty, and the last few questions are gonna come from my Instagram. The first one's gonna be coming from Tim, Tim A, the Babadoo. Shout out to Tim, go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. He barely even lists. Anyways, he asks, when are we gonna be deadlifting together, sirs? My answer to that, Tim, is when you can actually eat a six pack of Cinnabon. Serious. But not really though. Good job, dude. This one's gonna be coming from Anthony uh, Vaca, and I actually really like, this is probably my favorite question out of all the questions. He asks, which Avenged Sevenfold band member is your favorite and what is your favorite song from them, Minus Shepherd of Fire? Um, to all of you who don't know, Avenged Sevenfold has been my favorite band my, of all time uh, ever since I started listening to them back in 2003 or 2004. Uh, my answer to Anthony's question would have to be Sinister Gates. Uh, again, to all those who, who don't know, I do play guitar as well. I played since I was probably about eight or nine years old. Sinister Gates is one of my biggest influences, uh, otherwise known as Brian Hanner. He's amazing on the And my favorite song from them would have to either be uh, I Won't See You Tonight Part One or I would have to say Chapter Four. Alrighty, and this question is gonna be coming from Jackson Long. Have you found that you've started to realize that environmental health and ethical impacts of eating animals since you've gone vegan? Great question, Jackson. I don't identify myself as a vegan anymore because I do consume animal products sporadically on a, an infrequent basis. I do realize that veganism definitely has its place in one's overall health, which is why I chose to make that decision a few months ago. I do think though for me right now, it's important to note that I'm not a full vegan. I just want everybody to know that. That being said, I do think it's extremely important for everybody to educate themselves on, on the, for everybody to educate themselves on the massive impact that consuming animals and consuming animal products actually has on our society as a whole. I'm not gonna go into it very in depth right now. We suggest that you guys do your research. It's really, really important. Last question right now, this one's gonna be coming from Child, child, gains, gains. Wrong name, bro. What is your protocol or diet like after a 30K calorie challenge or something similar? I get that you are very active, but curious to know how you are still so lean. My answer to that is pretty clear. And that's what most people don't realize is that if you are active, you are able to do these things. I think people fear calories. They fear all these certain foods. And eventually it's pretty straightforward. Everything stabilizes. Even if you have Thanksgiving for perfect example, or Christmas or any sort of holiday, if you overeat, 
one day is gonna make a big difference in the grand scheme of things. What you do need is to have balance in your life, have a rough idea of what's right and what isn't right, a rough idea of what's healthy, what's not healthy, and a basic general understanding of what constitutes proper nutrition. Alrighty guys, so that's the Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I just wanna give a huge shout out to all of you subscribers, everybody that supported me along the way. I just, I never thought I'd be here. And uh, it's, it's extremely, extremely motivating. That being said, I have a lot planned for the future. I have a lot planned for this channel, for just life in general. And as much as I preach it, this is not just a fitness channel. This is not just a, uh, a cycling channel or a competitive eating channel. This is my life. So I really hope you guys are enjoying what I put out. And I'm always, always, always accepting feedback in any way, shape, or form. So I love reading feedback, whether it's negative, positive. That being said, guys, stay tuned for the next video. See you guys.